Hey everyone, it is David coming to you today from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. How y'all doing today, huh? It's a pretty nice day out. It's warmed up a little bit, but winter is coming. And I figured it was time to do a review on a bourbon that everyone raves about. But believe it or not, I've never had it. And that is all dressed up with a brand new look. There you go. Wait. Yeah, there you go. Wild Turkey 101. Used to... Well, I can still find it in this bottle, this label. Um, used to look like this. There we go. Used to look like this. Looks like this now. I figured what better time to do a review when it's all dressed up in its brand new bottle. I figure I'd get a bottle of it in the old version just to just to have it. And let's see, what do we know about this? Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> it's 101 proof. And did, did a little homework here. It is a blend of six, seven, and eight-year-old bourbons. The mash bill, 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. And uh, it's their flagship brand. I have had, years ago, I've had the what, 80, 82 proof entry level for 17 bucks a bottle. This, uh, got it in Kentucky at a Kroger. And it was on sale for 20 bucks. I think normally it's around 30. Um, might be around 25, something like that. But it was on sale. I'm like, eh, let's let's get it. Let's try it. Um, now I have my crib notes here. This is distilled at a very low proof in order to help embody all of the barrel flavors during aging. It comes out of the barrel at around 109 proof. So it means it just gets slightly diluted to the 101. And says it also uses the heaviest char number four, aside from the rare use of the even heavier char number five, on their barrels, which helps create the company's flavor profile and deep color. And then it talks about Jimmy Russell, who's a legend in the bourbon industry. So there you go. We're going to try it out. Um, wild turkey 101. I can always have a problem. I should take these things off before I do the videos. All right. Every, you know, everyone, everyone, wow, that smells good. Everyone really speaks highly of the wild turkey 101. Basically, the Swiss Army knife of bourbon. Um, again, Jimmy Russell. I mean, the guy brought us the Wild Turkey Long Branch along with Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. And um, and I do like the Long Branch. And I'm hoping I like even more, or just about the same, the wild turkey and it's got a nice golden brown color to it um smells nice get that pretty mature i smell the corn but it's a mature smell to it which i would hope if it's aged as long as it is mm. Yeah, I can see why people rave about it. Smoothness up front. It has that obvious, I don't want to say burn. Best way I can describe that burn on the throat, it's, it's a bit of heat. <clears throat> but it's not obnoxious. Hmm. You know, when you talk about a uh, 
fine Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> this is, to me, this, this encapsulates what you should expect in a, in a bourbon. To me, it's very well-rounded. It's not obnoxious, but it's got a good bite to it. Mm. The caramelly smoothness, again, up in the front, kind of evaporates a bit on my tongue. And has this lingering, lingering warmth is the best way I can put it. And it's comforting. <laughs> it's a comforting bourbon. It's kind of odd to call it comforting, but that's the best way I can describe it. I'm going to just have another little taste, not too much. You know, <laughs> I guess the best way I can describe it, I have to do this through an imagined experience, is that if you're in your home on a snowy winter day, you got a fire going in your wood stove, and you're curled up with a book, got a blanket wrapped around you, this is the bourbon you will be drinking. That, it just, it's like that crackling fire, cold day. Oh. Mm. And that is the perfect pour <laughs> for a day like that. That's, that's the memory, that's the feeling I'm evoking. And, uh, yeah. I can't say anything other than that. It is so good. Now, I know, like I said, they've changed the bottle. <clears throat> I do not know if they've reformulated this, you know, like changed it at all. Uh, I did see a video recently. I think it was Mash and Drum, um, his channel. And he did a side-by-side -side comparison, this and this. Um, I'm not planning on opening this unless I have to at some point. Um, but this is such a good bourbon. It's really good. And this is going to be on my must-have. Must always keep it stocked in my home bourbon. And at the price point it's at, it's a no-brainer. <clears throat> it would make a good mixer on the rocks, dilute it with a little water, or just straight. It is so good. So that's, I can't say anything other than that. So until next time, it's David coming to you from my whiskey den. And I hope as always, your next pour is your best pour. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks again for visiting me here at my whiskey den. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll be enjoying our next visit together soon. Thanks again for watching.